Stacks. He's got stacks. Oh. Quite quickly, we are in the part of town. <laughs> what, I'm gonna crap down here now? <laughs> Quite quickly, I found myself in the middle of nowhere. This is not good. Holy cow. I did not know this road was this bad. Oh man. I don't think this is a good idea at all. There's a tree right there, man. There's no way I'm going to clear that. Maybe if I had a lower jeep or something. There is no way I'm going to clear that at all. Damn it. Yeah, I'm, I think I'm going to have to turn around. Yeah. Well, I think this is where I turn around, man. It's, uh... There's no way the truck was going to clear that tree. But that is a sick truck, nonetheless. Look at that. Definitely getting good attention today, but there is no way I'm going to clear that tree at all. I'm not even going to attempt it. Screw that. Maybe if it was stock height, I could probably squeeze under it. But I was going to continue down this trail. I don't even know where it goes. I don't... Uh, yeah, I think I was going to go that way and make it down to the... Ooh. Okay, so... There's somebody down here. Hmm. So there's a Ford Explorer down here. I better, uh, better find my way find my way out of here, man. Looks like my only option is just to reverse. I don't think it'll be too bad, and then I'm gonna find my way to turn around somewhere. This is why you don't... This is why you don't, uh, <laughs> lift your truck, I guess. I think someone's just fishing. That's what my goal is. Um, it's not that big of a deal. Oh, man. That's not good. Truck is facing down, so it says I'm almost on empty. Oh man, talk about a haha <laughs> switch up from the normal uh, videos, guys. Especially yesterday. Yeah, I gotta get out of here, man. Uh, <laughs> definitely not the right place to be right now. Either kicking in four wheel drive to get back up, my gas still says I'm on empty somehow. Oh my gosh, this is not the worst of situations I've been in, trust me. I've been in a lot worse with this truck. And it's always uh, got me out of every situation, so let's get out of here now. <laughs> Back on paved road, I did not expect that to be that bad. That was uh, honestly pretty rocky and pretty steep. Definitely not good to be running kind of, well, low tread tires, but I'm going to kick it back into two wheel now. Let's do that now. There we go. Back into two wheel drive, and we're ready to roll. Well, it sure is almost like going back in time right here. Just a lot of small businesses with really old signs. Everyone drives old trucks or lifted trucks as well. And it's just a very nice area to be. Just a lot of no outlet roads, back roads, dirt roads, and all that kind of stuff. It's really awesome. Unfortunately, I just passed the second place and it's not gonna work out. Saw some signs, posted signs. And out here, people don't call the police they call the firearm so I'm probably just gonna keep going this way and probably just head to the lake or something I guess but looks like these new places aren't gonna work out I was hoping to go to one of these creek locations because I'm trying to try out this creek the only place is that I used to have an old friend well I was able to just uh, fish in the backyard so you know that's the that's the only way to really access that creek I guess so I guess I'm just going to head back to the lake going this way. And look at that orange truck over there. Oh my gosh, is that an old Chevy? It's an old orange Chevy. Oh my gosh. Oh, that was beautiful, man. I need an old orange Chevy. Just the combination of that old body style. I think it's 1985 with a nice orange paint job. Just original. Oh my gosh. Well, here's the creek right next to me. And I was trying to get down there, but it sucks. Can't. I think there is no. That's not it. Somewhere on to the right here. Just a slight turn. I think right there. Yeah. 
that's where I was trying to go down, but it's all filled with signs. So here we go, making the turn. Oh, definitely not car friendly around here. So a long time ago, I saw this OBS F-150 parked right here. It was gray and it had, uh, I think it was 40 inch super swampers, 40 to 42s. It was ridiculous, man. Something you probably don't know, I, I would get off of work every single day during the summer and I would come to this lake right here and just fish the day away every single, almost every single day in the hot sun. I'd be wearing jeans and boots because that's what I wore to work and I'd just come straight here actually and it was actually uh, pretty fun, pretty awesome. It's a pretty nice lake and people actually travel pretty far here. Alright, I guess I'll let the windshield wipers go down so let's get going, man. Here we go. Walking into the bad and wasteland, there's the truck. Right there, look at that. Oh my goodness. Looks so good. So, yeah, I guess those uh, off-road excursions today didn't really work out. Second one, couldn't really explore it. And the first one, well, that got a little bit too dangerous there with the fallen tree. I was probably taking a fishing spot anyway, so it wouldn't have worked out. If you guys can hear any noise in the background, that's a waterfall. It's pretty awesome. A good walk here to go. Hopefully it doesn't start pouring down rain because this camera is not waterproof. And there, if you can see that in the mist, it's a water fool. Here's the hill. So many times have I walked up this hill. Here we are. Just made it to the magnificent lake. Switching hands so I can actually see what I'm doing with the cam, but it's pretty cool up here, man.